we got the news that her cancer had come back. It had never been completely eradicated, but it was vastly smaller and stable until the end of December or early, of Jan early January. Vivian was eight months old at this point. And we had, as always, a lot of questions. And we were working at that time with a wonderful doctor, Dr. Kane, who just answered every one of my questions so patiently and so clearly and specifically, who let me call him at home if I had more questions and walked through every step with us. And the question we had, the issue for us was, clearly the new chemo regimen isn't working. Is there some other kind of chemo we can try? Is there something different we can do? Is there proton beam radiation we can do? Is there a miracle cure from tree bark in Argentina we should try because it's the last attempt? My trust with him was really critical because when Justin and I would say to each other, but why can't we just try proton beam radiation? There are places that do proton beam radiation on young babies. I trusted and had faith in Dr. Kane's answers as to why we couldn't do that. And it was, despite all of our promises to each other, it was really hard not to want to napalm whatever was left. Na by this point, she'd been through two brain surgeries and several months of chemo. What more could we reasonably do to the baby? What more should she have to deal with? Or if we stop treatment, she can go home. She can play all day. She can stop having to take medicine, except medicine that's there to help her make, to, to help her feel better. And she cannot have to spend any more time sitting around in a hospital. And it, it was a hard decision. And it was very much the when we made it, we were gone. We were back home within 24 hours. We didn't stand by idly while Vivi died. We helped Vivi to live as best she could. Um, for whatever time that that was going to be. So if we were told we had four to six weeks left, those were going to be the best four to six weeks of that child's life. Why I was going to take her home and have some parties for her and play with her a lot instead. And within our families, there was a lot of sadness at, at that, but a lot of sense of how much love was involved in that decision. That it it took an incredible amount of love for Vivi for us to do something that would cause us more pain instead of causing her pain to keep ourselves happy. We caused ourselves pain to keep her happy. And that's still the way we think about it.